one of trading seven scenes is copying trades while it's very tempting to follow the crowd replicate other traders moves it's very important to remember that each trading journey is different it's unique blindly copying can undermine your own understanding and decision making skills develop your own strategy your own set of skills your own set of rules to find out what works for you never follow blindly anyone on social media paid or free services it's your money take care take care of your own money always do your own due diligence hey there tamir from fibonacci traders.com you read the daily market recap please hit the like subscribe share with friends and without any further ado let's see the charts so after a few days of resting bulls of spy came back 438 to the upside is the resistance only by looking left we can see that 438 since middle of june is the resistance breaking above it we will go for the 444 above it we will go towards 452 together with this white trend line as you can see this white trend line helps us to identify the higher highs lower trend line helps us to identify the lower the higher lows breaking below 430 in my opinion this gap will get filled the sooner the better then bulls of spy will gain all the power that they need to go all-time highs 2023 qqq inside day 363 resistance 357 support purple trend line helps us to identify the higher lows Let's see continuation above 367, weekly close above 367, in my opinion, next will come 390. Follow price, use levels and trend lines to manage your risk, but also they help you to identify with high probability where price might be heading next. Look at the Dow. If you follow me on Twitter and you saw previous videos in the past few months, you know this red trend line. We broke up, now retesting it as support, two consecutive dojis, bulls day, next will be 341, above 341, we are heading towards 345, this red trend line needs to hold, otherwise the gap at the 332 will get filled. IWM after two consecutive dojis of the 50% retracement, bulls now 185 is the next resistance 180 needs to hold remember mr powell is speaking tomorrow 9 30 eastern time if i'm not wrong breaking below the 180 we will fill the gap at the 176 even if we fill the gap at the 176 we are still in an uptrend short-term uptrend on the iwm because we have this low here march lows april's lows may lows and until this low, until 172 will not break to the downside or as long as 172 is holding, we are in a short term uptrend on the IWM. Bitcoin struggling with this trend line as resistance, 29,900 support, 31,500 resistance, below 29,900, we will revisit in my opinion we will revisit this trend line as support breaking up and above next will be the 36400 ethereum 1860 holding as support below it we will retest this area over here 1800 together with this red trend line above 1930 2144 is next and it's only my opinion always do your own due diligence never follow blindly anyone on social media apple every day new all-time highs and if apple is making every day new all-time highs we are in a bulls market trend lines helps us to clear it make it very clear uptrend until proven otherwise microsoft 323 to the downside 
340 to the upside breaking above we will revisit this purple trend line as you can see trend lines resistance for the higher highs so with high probability this trend line is our map for future price action which means breaking above 340 we will revisit this purple trend line below 322 this gap at the 316 will get filled tesla with an inside day trying to hold the 242 bulls of tesla knows that if the 242 will fail to hold this gap will get filled and in my opinion as soon as possible this gap will get filled retesting this green trend line bulls of tesla will gain all the power that they need for the next leg up towards 296 together with this trend line over here this trend line look left holding and helps us to identify the higher highs google relative weakness in google 115 to the downside 180 now from support to resistance and as we can see gaps are like magnets for price action and in my opinion until this gap at the 112 area will not get filled google will not have the power for the next leg up so the 112 needs to get filled which is also not surprising the 618 retracement fibonacci level we have uptrend retracement gap and the 618 closing this gap at the 112 618 retracement fibonacci and then we might get the next leg up towards 118 123 and back to the 130 area follow price use levels and trend lines as your guide for future price action nvidia holding the 404 below it this gap will get filled and then 378 will be next but for now nvidia long term mid term short term uptrend until proven otherwise 404 holding 440 to the upside is the resistance above it we are heading towards 488 and 460 let me know in the comments below where do you think nvidia will end 2023 or any other feedback any feedback any comment will be appreciated and will be replied netflix trend lines resistance support support retracement towards fibonacci level 410 together with this trend line doji the perfect signal for a trend reverse reversal but we need to see it validated long continuation above 427 towards 450 amazon inside day basically moving sideways as you can see 127 now is the support from resistance let's zoom in resistance support long continuation above today's highs towards 131 and this white trend line to the upside breaking below for 127 we will retest this white trend line and maybe the 124 to the downside always prepare for both sides never be biased meta 275 still holding which means it is a very important level of support breaking down and under 260 together with this white trend line will be the next support but as long as the 275 is holding meta is grinding up on this trend line towards february 3rd gap at the 316 let me know in the comments below when will meta close this gap or do you think meta will close this gap at the 214 before 316 interesting to know what do you think shopify sideways move 6180 to the downside 64 to the upside 
nothing much on Shopify. If you are not long or short on Shopify yet, in my opinion, sit on hands and wait for what? For a break above 67, weekly close above 67, then we can go long on Shopify towards all the levels to the upside towards this trend line short in my opinion only below 58 towards 56 towards 53 and then 48 gap to the downside but once again this is only my opinion never follow blindly anyone follow to get ideas follow to learn but never follow blindly anyone because you don't know how i trade what's my risk management what's my tolerance each and every one of us are different so i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit the like subscribe share with friends will be much appreciated don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources until the next video do good things